By the end of this video, we will have an asterisk instance running on Ubuntu. Let's start by downloading Ubuntu image from the official website. Chose desktop and then click on download Ubuntu desktop and you should see it downloading. I've already went ahead and did that and I have it on my computer. Next, we will open VirtualBox and create a new virtual machine. On the top, click on the new button. Give it a name. I'll go with asterisk as a name. And chose the ISO image location. Click and chose the Ubuntu image that you just downloaded. After that, you'll see that some settings got detected and changed automatically. Next, change the username and password of the virtual machine. I went with asterisk as the username and admin as the password. Then you specify the resources for the virtual machine. I went with four gigabytes of RAM and six CPUs. Finally, the hard disk. I went ahead and kept the 25 gigabytes default configuration and clicked finish. Next, we need to run the virtual machine that we have just created by clicking on the start button on the top. Once started, wait for the installer to run and finish installing Ubuntu. That is done. Now you'll have to log in using the credential you chose earlier. I'll use admin, which was the password I chose earlier. Once logged in, open your browser and visit the asterisk website Go to the download section and download the latest version. Once that is done, Open your terminal and type the next commands. Get into the root user. Update and upgrade the dependencies in the system. Go to the Downloads folder and unzip the asterisk folder that you have just downloaded. Move it to user local source and change the directory to the asterisk folder that you just moved.
Now you can run this script to install the packages required for Asterisk to run. Run this command to install the bundled version with PJ Project. Once that is done, you can run the command make which will build all the necessary modules and make install to install everything. Now that we have everything installed, we can run make samples to get all the sample configuration files. These can help us learn more about how we can configure the system. Now run make config and make install log rotate. Now we can check the status of asterisk. And as we can see, it's inactive, so we can go and start it and then recheck its status. And now we can see that it is running by that we can run asterisk in the command line. And we got the asterisk CLI. And by that we have successfully installed asterisk into our system. If you had any questions, drop them in the comments section and see you in another video where we will do our first configuration of asterisk See you then.